Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to lead you through a 20 minute full body sculpt workout using some light weights. These are just two pounds each. If you don't have light dumbbells at home, you could always use household objects such as canned food or water bottles, but you could also do this workout without the weights entirely. Make sure that you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, we're gonna start with a series of standing exercises, some squats, some lunges. We're gonna have our dumbbells in either hand and we're going to step to the side into almost like this chair pose position, sweeping the arms up, coming down all the way down into the squat with a nice flat back, then coming up to the other side. Sweep it through, down and up. So as we come down, think about that core. Keep that chest lifted and keep a slight bend in those elbows and control the arms as they come down. We're taking everything nice and slow today, really focusing on form, focusing on core engagement. Good. Taking a quick 15 second rest, we're gonna come into this center squat position. So feet a little bit wider, toes pointed out to the sides. Arms are gonna come up. We're going to come all the way down in this squat. Pressing the arms up, right heel comes up, left heel comes up, and we come up together. So as you come down, tuck that bum under, keep those hip flexors nice and long. Try to stay nice and low in that squat as you pop those heels up. Good. Taking a quick 15 second rest, we are going to repeat those two again. So we're starting off with that chair pose sweep. Really think about that core, think about closing those ribs. Exhale as you come down and control as you come up. Nice flat back. Nice job, taking a quick 15 second rest. We're gonna go back to that center squat. So when I say hip flexor is long, I mean as you come down in this squat, we're not sending the bum back and leaning over. We're actually doing the opposite, tucking the bum under, keeping the hip flexors long, and then squeezing those inner thighs together as we come up. I'm doing this the wrong way. <laughs> and extend. Here we go. Nice job. All right, we are moving on. We're gonna do some reverse lunges. So we're gonna have our arms up like this, elbows lifted, shoulders down. You're gonna step back to your lunge. 
Then from here, you're gonna drive that knee through and we're gonna twist, bring those dumbbells to the hip. So step it back and twist. So we're keeping those elbows up to keep those shoulders working. Take these nice and slow. Make sure you're hitting this lunge position. We're not stepping too far back and making it a nice long lunge. We're keeping it a little bit short so that our supporting legs at a 90 degree angle, pressing through that supporting heel, bringing the knee up and exhaling as we twist. Good, taking a quick rest, we're going to do the other side. Here we go, arms up, elbows out. Make sure you're stepping back with the opposite leg this time. Press through that supporting heel, find your balance and twist. Take it nice and slow. Control as you step back. It's all about the control on that supporting leg. If you want to hear something funny, I actually just recorded this entire class, but my mic was off. So this is my second time doing this workout in a row today, back to back. So if I can do it twice, you can get through it once. Good. Shake it out, we're gonna do both sides one more time. So really stay grounded in this supporting foot. It's not gonna move the whole time. Slight bend in the knee up here. Control, use that core, step back. Keep those elbows lifted, chest open. Nice job, shake it out. Other side one more time. Exhaling as you twist. Nice job, and we're going to head to the ground for the rest of this workout. We're gonna start off by having the dumbbell in our left hand. Right hand is flat on the mat, right leg's extended, and the left arm is extended. We're gonna lift the right leg, left arm, palm is facing the ceiling, and then tap everything down to the floor. Lift and lower. So the arm has a slight bend, in the elbow. We're keeping a nice neutral spine. We're not arching the back to get the leg up. Using that glute, using that core. Good, we're gonna hold and we're gonna pulse. Here we go. Pulsing up, up, up.
Don't let yourself wobble, use that core. Keep everything tight. Good. We're gonna move the dumbbell into the right hand. Keep this right leg extended and we're gonna open it up to the side here. So chest is facing forward. You're gonna lift that leg and lower. Outer thighs facing the ceiling. You're gonna sweep it down and open. Lift the leg and lower. Keep that rib cage closed. Try and keep your back nice and straight in line with those hips. Use that outer thigh. Good, we're gonna hold up here and we're gonna pulse that leg. Pulse it up, up, up. If you are ever struggling, just think to yourself, Maddie's done this twice. I can do this once. Keep those ribs closed, nice and strong. Nice job. Taking a quick rest. We are going to do everything on the other side. So left leg is extended and dumbbells in the right hand, keeping our hips nice and square with the mat. Here we go. Lifting up and lower. So we're using that tricep, using those glutes and the core is stabilizing. Take it nice and slow. Good, and we're going to pulse. Lift it up. Keep that left hip facing the floor, don't let it open. We're gonna switch the dumbbell into the other hand. Keep that left leg extended and we're opening it up. Keep your left outer thigh pointed towards the ceiling. We sweep it through and then we open. Lift that outer thigh. Keep the back nice and straight. As you lift this leg, don't sit back into the hips. Stay forward on those hips. Good, chest open. We're going to pulse here with the leg up. Same thing when you're pulsing, stay forward on those hips. Keep energy running through this top arm. You're almost there. Good work. We're gonna come down on our back. So we're gonna do a glute bridge. We're going to keep our toes as close as we can to our bum. And we're gonna do these glute bridges on our tiptoes. We're gonna do a chest fly with our upper body. So starting with the arms down, as we press up to our glute bridge, our arms come up lower, press the low back to the floor, and then press the hips up as high as they can go. When you drop those arms, keep a slight bend in those elbows and drop those hands slightly below shoulder height. Good, we're gonna hold here all the way up. You're gonna drop the booty 
halfway down and then press those hips up so we're pulsing keeping the arms up press those hips as high as they can go squeeze those glutes Good, you can either hold at the top here for the next 30 seconds, or you can alternate lifting one leg. And we're gonna use that core nice and slow. Keep those arms reaching towards the ceiling and keep those hips pressed all the way to the sky. Take a quick 15 second breather. We're gonna repeat that whole sequence again. So we're gonna start off with our regular glute bridge, doing this chest fly. Think about opening the chest, shoulders down the back, and pressing those hips up as high as they can go. Good, we're gonna hold and we're gonna pulse. So we're dropping our hips halfway and pressing them up. Keep energy running through those arms, reaching towards the ceiling. Good, we're either holding or lifting one leg at a time. Press those hips up. Whew. All right, we're gonna give our legs and booty a little bit of a rest. We're gonna do some dead bugs down here on the ground. So legs are bent, arms are up. We're actively pressing the low back into the floor and we're going to extend opposite leg, opposite arm. And bring it back to center. So reaching that hand and those toes to opposite walls of the room, using that core to bring everything up. Good, next up we're gonna drop both the arms and legs, keeping a slight bend in our knees. So tapping the toes down to the floor and bringing everything up. Keep a slight bend in those elbows. Remember to keep that back pressed to the floor. Good, taking a quick rest down here. We're gonna do that one more time. Starting off with those dead bugs, so actively press that back to the floor. Your low abs should already be fired up. Extend, control. Exhale as you bring everything together.
Good, and we're gonna drop both the arms and legs, keeping a slight bend in those knees. Tap the toes and bring everything up. Last little section here, we're going to sit up with a nice flat back, slight bend in these knees. You're gonna lift the arms up to the side, like a side lateral raise. Arms are bent slightly and palms are facing the floor. You're gonna lean back, arms come front, and then we open to the side and lower. So we lift up, flat back, lean back, and sitting back up. Make sure those hands don't come higher than the shoulders. Keep the chest open. Good, we're gonna do an ab hold next. So lifting those toes, palms facing the ceiling. Stay nice and tall here. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can drop one toe and lift, other toe and back up. Stay lifted in that chest. Good, taking a quick 15 second rest. We're gonna do those one more time. So we're starting off sitting nice and tall. Lift the arms to the side, palms facing the floor. They come to the front as we lean back. Use those abs, sitting back up tall and lower. So you're gonna exhale as you bring those arms forward and lean back. Think about closing that rib cage. Good, and we're gonna hold. Palms facing the ceiling, last 30 seconds. Stay nice and lifted, you can do it. Oh. Ta-da, and that is it guys. Great job, I hope you enjoyed this quick 20 minute full body sculpt workout using lightweights. If you like this one, you wanna see more of this style, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me and I will see you guys next time, bye. If you enjoy my workout videos, then make sure to join me in the MadFit app. You'll get access to structured programs, challenges, exclusive workouts, recipes, and many more amazing features that will help you on your health and fitness journey. If you haven't already downloaded MadFit, make sure to click the link in the description and I will see you guys inside the app.